Hey, it's Flying Ryan here, and in this video I am going to show you everything you need to know to get started with your new Hubson FPV X4. Uh, to get started we'll need four AA batteries for the transmitter, and it does go through batteries pretty quick, so it's recommended to get some rechargeable batteries. And so I got these Sanyo AnyLoop uh, 2400 milliamp hour batteries, so they should last quite a while. So let's go ahead and put those in the back here. And the battery does kind of slide back under the side of the transmitter there. Go ahead and put the last one in and close her up. And if you're going to want to record your flights, you're going to need a micro SD card. And they recommend a class 4, 4 gigabytes or better. And then there's a little slot on the side of the transmitter here. You go ahead and put that in there. And you'll want to format the card if you've used it for anything else. And I'll show you how to do that later. Alright, so now the transmitter is ready, we can go ahead and turn it on. It's going to initialize and then ask us to bind the helicopter. Alright, it is ready to be bound, so we can go ahead and plug the quad in here. And it should immediately start showing us video. There we go. You can see it's already showing the video. Alright, so first things first, you're going to want to do a little pre-flight check and make sure all the systems, all the controls are working fine before you start relying on FPV. So check your throttle and all your controls and everything. Um, if it does, if it drifts at all, you may need to recalibrate the accelerometer, so I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. We'll go ahead and, uh, You'll want to give full right rudder and then move the, the right stick back and forth and keep an eye on the LEDs here. See, they blinked, so now it is recalibrated. And so now it should stay nice and level. Um, if it does drift a little bit at all, you can correct for that with the trims. Uh, but if it requires like, too much trim or you just can't get it to stay too level, you, you'll want to check the props. You may need to replace the props because little bit uh, damages and bends can cause problems with trying to get a good hover. Okay, so now we're ready to fly. I'll show you some of the uh, different flight controls and stuff that we can do. Um, since this does have the LEDs on it and that uses a little bit of battery power, if you want to turn those off, you can press and hold the down trim button and you'll see it'll say LED off. Press and hold again to turn them back on. And so that's turning the LEDs on and off. And then we can change our uh, flight modes between normal. It starts in normal. The uh, Hubson logo is green. If I press in the right stick, change is red, and now we're in expert mode. Press it again to change back to normal mode. And so expert is you know faster. You've got more movement. And then when you're in expert, you can do flips by giving full one direction and then the direction you want to flip. So down and then forward, you'll flip forward. Forward and then down, you'll flip backwards. Right and then left, you'll flip left. And left and then right, you'll flip right. But if you want to turn that off so you don't accidentally flip while flying FPV, you can click the left stick and it should say flip off. Click, click it again, flip on. Click it again, flip off. Okay, and so now we'll look at some of the uh, the display here. So you see in the top right corner here, we've got the, that's our transmitter battery level, and then this is the quadcopter battery level. And when this drops down below 3.4 volts, you'll want to return to home as fast as possible because the battery is about to die. And then when the transmitter batteries get too low, this will turn red and start flashing and the transmitter will blink at you and if the batteries get way too low the screen will turn off and this little green light will turn red and start flashing but you'll still be able to control the quadcopter so that you can land it but if you turn it off and then turn it back on with those low batteries it won't bind so if you find that your transmitter won't bind or the screen won't come on that means you need to replace the batteries in the transmitter um, we can enter the menu by clicking and holding the right stick. Oop, you got to press and hold it. So now we've got our menu. So that's where you can uh, format your SD card there. 
And to enter, basically, you just press right. So here, I don't want to format my card, but... So here we can change our sensitivity. If I just press right on the right stick, that's how you enter the, the menu. And then if you can either go down to exit or press and hold the right stick again to exit the menu. All right, go back in again. So that's all your different menu settings. You can reverse things if you need, and you can uh, set the time and play your videos back on the screen. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and exit out of there. To start recording, you just press this right button here, and you'll see, oh, SD full. Okay, I don't know why that is, so let's go ahead and reformat my card, because it shouldn't be full. Okay, so reformatted, now let's try it again. There we go. Okay, so now it's recording. And so, now whatever the quadcopter is seeing and displaying, it's also recording to my memory card. And then you can press it again to stop the recording. And you definitely want to make sure to press stop on the recording when you're done. If you just turn off the transmitter, your recording will get corrupted and then it can cause problems with the memory card and you'll probably need to reformat your memory card. So definitely make sure to always stop the recording when you're done. And if the transmitter batteries are too low, it won't record either. So if you find that it won't record, check your battery level and you may have too low of batteries. Uh, so that's really about all there is to the transmitter and everything. And so now you're pretty much ready to fly. Um, and so you'll want to, to keep about a 120 degree angle, keep the radio pointed towards the quadcopter. If you, if you end up behind the radio, you'll lose your signal. Um, if you're in like trees and buildings and a bunch of stuff, you'll get interference and kind of get staticky. So you're best to fly it out in a big open area or up high above trees. Um, and then the range is not really, really far. So you'll want to stay fairly close to yourself. I mean, especially being this small, if you lose it, um, you, you're going to want to have it near you. Uh, and I think really that's about all there is to it. So you are now ready to go fly. So have fun, be responsible, and happy flying. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.